another different filming location at the kitchen table of their accommodation in, in while I'm working away from home. And I've got the light fitting from the bedroom from the accommodation when I'm working away from home because uh, it's burst. And what happened is this, uh, I was uh, showing my colleague how uh, these are just a disposable light fitting because this one was dipping out every so often. It would just Every so often while you were in the room, it would just flick out and come on again, which was quite annoying. I thought it might be an LED filling, so I was showing him how these are basically disposable items, which is not very ecologically sound. It would be nice if you could change lamps or the, the light emitting components in them. But I opened it up and uh, the module, the power supply module, was sitting in the middle with the cables coming through it. And I just uh, said, right, OK, let's see what's uh, up here. I can't see any uh, bad LEDs. And I poked the cabling and it just made this uh, vis noise and all the LEDs went out. And I thought, oh, no. So um, I took this down and opened it up. And the problem is very simple. It's what's been causing the flickering before. The live wire here had, wasn't soldered in properly. So I've resoldered them both. It's a rather crusty looking solder. I think it's lead free. Um, but the driver despite the fact it's a disposable fitting, is quite nice. It's got the uh, fuse at the input here. It's got the Class X2 suppression capacitor. It's got a negative uh, temperature coefficient inrush limiting uh, resistor. It's got a metal oxide resistor to protect the circuitry. It's got the com mode suppression choke. It's got more chokes here. It's got the smoothing capacitor, then an inductor and uh, more smoothing capacitor. It's got the bridge rectifier. And it's got just tons and tons of filtering. And then it goes over to the secondary side, and it's got the to the primary uh, side, the uh, switch mode side. It's got a switch mode chip driving the transistor, and it's a classic sort of topology of a generic type uh, controller with the, the little diode here, and the capacitor is designed to provide the chip with its the not the MOSFET there, but the chip underneath and the MOSFET, I suppose, with its power supply from the transformer, and the output of the transformer. It's got the rectifier diode and a cluster of three capacitors in parallel with, it's quite odd this, the diode, there are positions for two diodes, but they've got a, a snubber network across those for noise suppression again, a couple of discharge resistors or, or ambient load resistors across the capacitors, probably discharge resistors to make the LEDs go out quite quickly, and then they've got even more filtering, they've got uh, the com mode suppression choke, little toroidal one, that then feeds out to the LEDs. And the LEDs are wired as four in parallel and a large number of series circuits. There's a, it's in two sections of the circuit board here, and each section is uh, got, it's got 24 LEDs, so 48 LEDs total, uh, divided as the multiples of four in parallel, but all connected in series. And that gives 12 circuits of LEDs, giving approximately 36 volts. What does it say in this? Uh, it says the supply is rated 27 to 42 volts DC at 520 milliamps. So it's actually driving... The 520 milliamps will be equal throughout the whole circuit, and it's spread across four LEDs in each section. So just over 100 milliamps per LED. So I'm going to uh, reassemble this now, and I'm going to put it back up and see if it blows up or if it actually works. Job done. It is now refitted. Let's give it a test and see what happens. It works. Perfect. That's ideal.